Hi, Shane. Hi, Hi people. Jeff. Welcome to our small tea. Can I call it like this? I don't small. know, but you have now, so. <laughs> Doubt or so stuff. But yeah, we are discussing the results from our homes. So you're not in Liverpool anymore. So it's been four days, five days since the final happened, since the result came out. And we're discussing today the results, no matter how good and bad they are. Right? We're just, we're just doing the final, yeah? We're just doing the final, yeah. Cool. I mean, you can mention if something from the semifinals, but just the final. Because those were the shocking ones and good ones and bad ones and whatever. So I want to start with, in general, I don't know, I don't want to start now country for country chain because this is like, I don't want to go through every, every country, but I want to so tell you like, in general, the most shocking ones, like for me, and if they were not for you, you can say why not, or for the shocking ones for you. Okay. okay. Can, can I Can I first talk about i know it's very random it doesn't need to have particular order but can we talk first with spain i really need to speak with someone about spain and that's you wait i'll find also my... um okay so obviously you know that i was the whole weekend with paco right i have my spanish flag oh uh, georgie there are rules about waving spanish flags oh, obviously, paco said Paco said that if he, we are not Spanish, we are allowed to do that. He said that if Spanish people are doing it, it's not allowed. Okay. It's on you. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> okay. Um, so... <laughs> Good luck with that. Um, so I was with Paco the whole weekend, right? And yeah. so he said, and like his friend Carlos was saying that Paco's biggest fear was that Blanca would get to the split screen at the end and then a bad televote would come through. That was his worst fear. He had nightmares about it. Really? He kind of thought it would do well in the jury and poten potentially, didn't predict it, but potentially could have done well enough yeah. to then be in the split screen at the end. And well, Paco said yeah. his worst fear was her visibly being in a split screen and getting a bad televote. So in that sense, what we got was not that as bad as that, because that sounds horrific. But, but I would oh, say that oh, what it, exactly what you said, forget the televoting, even the jury points, I did not expect that she'll take 95 only. You thought she was going to get more? Yeah, I really thought that she'll get more. I never said that this is my number one song or whatever, but I had in my thoughts some songs that will do very well in the jury votes and that was one of them now i didn't think it until i was watching the show and i was watching the, the live show as we all were and i yeah. can't remember whether it was the song that was after but it was certainly at least the song after that and a certain song came on and it finished and i looked straight to carlos and i was like that could hurt spain and that's albania I didn't really think about it, but them two being close together, I think would have had some sort of impact to a point. No, because it, it was Blanca, then Lorene, then Albania, right? Yeah. yeah. Maybe, between, I don't know. Yeah, between, between Blanca and Lorene was a small pause. Yeah. So firstly that, I thought that Blanca would do better in the juries, but only because everyone told me that was going to happen. <laughs> so as a result of that, I was like, sure. Um, so I didn't really I question mainly got that. I mainly got the same impression from because of Amer and Laura, because of all the videos that we have done. And those two were always putting to us like, she will do, she will be the winner. She may be the winner. She will be the jury winner for sure. She will be. And then it was all this coming in me. And I was thinking like, okay, she will be the winner of Judy. You know? Now, yeah. But also, I don't remember what video it was and whether it was on camera or not on camera. But I remember specifically saying to Paco, saying i'm sure it's going to do well because every video on youtube other than maybe the odd one or two seems to love it but i remember joking oh gosh and also saying however a lot of people on youtube you can't just trust them they will just react to what everyone's saying yeah. but if reactions predicted the results well the reactions got it completely wrong because yeah. you would just click every reaction and everyone's like oh 
oh, this is so good. And obviously I felt bad when I did mine because I was like, it's all right, it's all right. But obviously, were those reactions genuine then? Look, for many people, I know that they are not genuine, those reactions, because it's not possible that you will come in front of the camera in 11 of the 37 songs. This is impossible. And if it's your first listening to the song, it's like, sometimes I have problem problems of processing. Do I like it? Do I not like it? So I talk very, very quickly. I see stuff that I, I'm not supposed to see. But I cannot say that when I first heard Spain on my reaction, I was like, oh my God, this is such a winner material. From the first moment, I just thought, I just said exactly the same thing as Serbia, that I am not sure if Europe will understand this and will vote for it. Yeah, sorry. So I answered your question with a bad example. You were asking about the jury. My example about reactors and reactions on YouTube was supposed to be about the televote. Because I remember using that to, to Paco saying, be comforted. I'm sure it is translated well outside of Spain because reactors outside of Spain seem to love it from what YouTube shows me. Yeah. But I, okay, so two things, going back to your question. I thought it would do better in the juries. If you look at the criteria that juries are using, the four bullet points, well, I think Spain pretty much hits it pretty hard in all four. Um, and as a result, I was quite surprised. And I was watching Paco the whole time because he was reacting for his channel. And you could see he was a bit like, because there were countries that just gave it no points. Mm. And it wasn't necessarily, like, we didn't see her face once. She didn't get 12 points it's at all. I thought she would get 12 points. This is... I thought she'd get at least one. And so that was quite surprising. But the televote was the biggest surprise. Spain got the least televotes out of 26 songs. Now, I find that absolutely fascinating. I find that absolutely fascinating. Has he even talked that from uh, the rest of the world, uh, she will be for sure in the top uh, points of the rest of the world? So she got, they, she got points from the rest of the world and Portugal. Um, Portugal, understandable. Rest of the world, I don't know to what extent that means like countries like Mexico and South America who are Spanish speaking countries maybe contributing to that. But regardless, it's still warranted even if it's not that and people just generally love the song because Albania got quite a lot of points as well, which is also a cultural song. So there are two debates. Is it about, you know, Albanians outside of Albania picking up the phone like going crazy or did people appreciate cultural songs? But five points, Georgie. I was sure. Five points. Not that I was rooting for 200 points, 300 points or 100 points, but I was not expecting, I was not rooting for any points. But the but world I, is short. Like, when when, I, not, when five points, I was thinking like, what? Because when I we... literally watched Eurovision with Nico, one of my friends that did not like the song. Since the beginning, it said, like, I'm sorry, my favorite one was Noshentera and Agony, and this is what I wanted, whatever, but I don't like the song. And then when we watched the final on Saturday, and he was like, this is really good staging. This is one of the best staging. He said, like, it's captivating, like, you don't want to blink because it's a very good stage. And then when he was shocked. They said, like, well, you were right that people didn't get it when she got the five points. He said, like, yeah, but after watching it, she deserved more. Mm. And I was thinking, I just, like, yeah. I just don't understand because I was in the Euro Village with people from multi, multi, diff multi different countries, different countries. And when that score came in, like, they were shocked. And as we were walking to the club, like, obviously, Paco had his Spanish flag on, and people yeah. from different countries said, robbed, robbed, robbed. Yeah. Well, then why the hell weren't people picking up the phone then? If that was the oh. consensus amongst Fan, Euro fans from different countries. It wasn't just like in. It couldn't have been just in Spain. The hype couldn't have been just in Spain. So what happened? And she literally went to all of the pre parties. She did what she could. She went to all of the pre parties. She performed the song everywhere. Good for the song. But whatever. We're talking now ten ten minutes about Spain. We have more countries to talk about. And I would like to go to Deutschland. Okay. Deutschland, Hamburg, Chris Hans, Lord of the Lost. I hope they are not lost. Do you know how shocked I was? Do you know how much, how much, I, 
how much I wanted to sw to swear on the screen when they when they got the, because the jury points I was expecting that they will get no jury points. Were you? I, I was, wasn't. Like, no, I was always saying like it will be a televote uh, thing, like two hundred points or something. But I know people have come for me for making this comparison before, but why did Australia do so well then in the jury? I really think that as long as we were watching it and Australia was taking the points, we were always thinking like, so it was really for the juries between Australia and Germany, actually, right. not both of them or whatever. What they have shown here in Germany, the commentator, the commentator that speaks here in German TV when Eurovision is running, he's very known here and he does Eurovision around 30 years or something. He said after that in, in one interview, he was first of all very pissed with Eurovision. But then he said, like, I think that they need to change the system, EBU, because it's it appears and it's actually visible somewhere on some kind of site. I think that if you watch how exactly on the juries or, or the televoting, one of the two, on the televoting, I think, how Germany came in many countries, it was on many countries 11th. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was if it was 10, it would get one point, which is also not much. But on many countries, Germany was 11th. But because the voting is the way it is. Yeah. If you are out of the 10, you all get zero, you know. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. But that's, you know, when people are very sad and stuff, they figure out stuff to say, which are true. But I was shocked. I was shocked to see that uh, Lord of the Lost didn't it. because it's not my kind of songs. I don't listen to metal or hard rock songs, but I every year have a rock song which I adore, like I had Finland years ago and stuff. But I was shocked about Germany. I mean, it was hard because, like, yes, I mean, my channel's a testament to this. It wasn't like I was raving about the song. I never, I never did. It's a genre that I don't listen to particularly. But ultimately, as Euro fans, it's a shame that there wasn't more vocal support amongst Euro fans because they did that whole campaign where they kind of promoted every song every day. They did covers of songs. And I didn't really necessarily feel in the fandom that they had completely embraced Lord of the Lost. Lord yeah. of the Lost. Yeah, that's right, right? Lord of the Lost. <laughs> um, but I mean, I, I, it's one of those things where it's a question mark. Spain and Germany, there are no answers. It's not like that camera angle could have been different. They could have sang that note better. What you saw on the stage for three minutes was the best that that could possibly be. And so as a result, it is a bit confusing to find answers why it happened the way it did. That's very true. I wouldn't have changed Spain's, Spain's or Germany's three minutes at all. It was perfect. <laughs> Yeah, here nobody commented anything bad about them or they should have done something else or whatever. They, everybody said, like, that was the best that we could, see, we could see from the band and it just didn't work for people. But everybody's thinking that Germany should change at least the system and starting earlier with the procedure of choosing the song. Because mm -hmm. Germany always tends to start very late, November or something, or very late. So... You see that Benidorm or all, all the others already opened, already starts the season of no, search sure. for sure. Germany is always very late. So maybe people say like, maybe start earlier so you can have a bit more options. Can I say controversially, someone is a, so was a subscriber, I think they've unsubscribed now because they've, they're done with Eurovision, <laughs> is a Eurovision fan who loves Lord of the Lost. And they forward me a few of their songs to listen to I'm going to be honest, comparatively, Blood and Glitter is my least favorite compared to other songs that they've released. Maybe. I think that's fair to say. Yeah. They've had better songs. Yeah. In my opinion. But that, I mean, I mean I'm trying to clutch at straws now to try, because I'm trying to think, like, even if you start it earlier, I still think the song choice and the band choice was the right choice. Even if you start it now, I think Lord of the Lost and that song was still a good choice. I agree, but something fell from this flag. The Portuguese flag? Yeah, something. Is it the ball ball on the end? Is the ball ball on the end falling off? No, I mean dirt fell down. Oh. Oh, I had it in the flowers. That's why this is like... Uh, All right. As a decoration oh, now, of the night. Now we go to Mimikat because I owe this. I owe this to the people. 
because you have joked and you have said that my subscribers are from Portugal. <laughs> Portuguese and Israelis and no fans. <laughs> you shady, yeah. Let them be. We share yeah, this. Shady. Oh god. But yeah. What about Portugal? I was. She took sixteen from the public. I think right. Yeah. She Loads took... of countries took mediocre points, didn't they? Really. So she that's took... not really. She took much... from the juries, from the jury forty three, and from the public sixteen. And she ended up with 59 points, 23rd, just between Serbia and Albania. I think that's a good, I mean, I uh, how do I say this? Because it doesn't matter what I say now, because it's going to offend someone. Like for a song that for so long, people were saying it wasn't going to qualify. Then it went to Liverpool and people were like, it's definitely not going to qualify. That's why I'm not mad also. I am not mad because I know that at the end of it, uh, many Portuguese people believed that, okay, actually, maybe we're not qualifying. And after that, she qualified and she qualified not even last place. She qualified, qualified with higher place. And that was, that was good. And she even was herself proud that she is in the final. And that's why mm. I saw clips and stuff where she was dancing to all the songs, having so much fun, living even in a proud way from the arena because there's so many clips of her. She did not seem sad. She seemed. No, like, I. She. She, I, she already fun. won. Qu her, her qualification was her winning. Yeah, that's that's the way I am feeling proud of Mimika, and I'm feeling proud that I had her there. And above that, from Portugal, we have Albania, which is like above Portugal. It ended like twenty second. I am so proud that I like the song. Because I love Wait, it. Where did this come from? When did you start liking this song? I felt I was the only one that liked Albania. In the Eurovision team, it was only me and you that picked up the caps of Albania qualifying. Oh, good. Sorry. I forgot that. I thought I was <laughs> alone. Thank you, Georgie. It was only me and you that thought that the Albania is qualifying. And I said that I love the song. Well, and try I... being in a whole Euro village with thousands of people and that song comes on and I'm the only one like screaming and dancing and everyone else is getting drinks and catching up with their chats. Yeah. Um, I loved, I like for me, the staging absolutely <coughs> elevated it. I think that placing is fair. I think that placing is yeah. fair comparatively, but yeah. I love that song. And actually my friend who's just catching up with Eurovision now in China, it's one of his favorites. And he took 50, he took, she took 59 from the Televolt this is not bad at all. That's very, well, comparatively against everyone else, that's extremely good. Yeah, so where does that fall in regards to the televote? Tenth in the televote. That's amazing. That's amazing. They did very well. They proved they that, did. and Albania proves once more, no matter where they are in the odds of Eurovision World side, they always qualify, except <laughs> Rotella. They always have qualified, no matter where the odds are showing that they are. Except Ronella. <laughs> yeah, Ronella didn't qualify. What can I do? Do you know what I was thinking, though? And it's not appropriate here, but I was going to post it on Twitter. I want to know whether she was offered the same staging designer last year. I don't know. Because Albania have, have traditionally gone with um, that Swedish stage designer. And I want to know whether the broadcaster offered it to Renella and she said no, because I know that this Renella's staging was her idea. Anyway, carry on. Okay, yeah. I want to know now too. Whatever. <laughs> um, let's go to... Here. Let's see. Wait. Now I'm going so low, so low. Never let me down. They get down, down, down. Now I'm going to show you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Show you what it is you're missing out. She, do, she really showed, though, with the 81 televoting points. But you know what pissed me off a bit about that? What? When the screen showed that she took 81 points, first of all, in the room of people that I was, everybody was like, wow, like, good for her, because 81 points are a lot. She didn't seem so happy. But I just think that's Isn't her. It? No, no, no. Do you not remember when she qualified? She was very subdued in celebrating that as well. Yeah. She said, so I just, I wouldn't look too much into it. I, I mean, I was surprised. I was watching him like, girl, take your applause, go crazy. That's amazing. I but mean, she came third in the semi final. 
Correct. Lord. But I remember when she qualified and there was people saying that she obviously we know historically months of people saying she wasn't going to qualify. And when she qualified, her celebration was very muted. So I wouldn't look too much into that. OK, yeah. Because I was just thinking, like, girl, you have to celebrate. 81 points is, like, a lot of points. It is a lot of points. Because until that point, we we saw very less points than that. Yeah, and girl did good. Then I want to go to some th something exciting, which was, of course, Norway. I celebrated it as hell. The Norwegian... Her televote I celebrated because I was so upset. I was so sick of watching Norway. No... I even forgot about her at some point. Of her not getting points, I forgot how many did she... 52 jury points. And that's why I say, like, look what people voted. 216, she was uh, third most televoted points she got. And I was thinking, like, how how the juries didn't rate that well, good because it was good i after the first couple of points something was ringing true so we watched the jury final and you can't really pick out um vocals in the arena and then when we left we were in burger king and um one of paco's friends was getting kind of messages through no and carlos came and he was following things on twitter and he's like i heard alessandra didn't sing very well so I don't know anything about this. I was in the arena. I didn't notice. But if you go on Twitter, apparently the first 30 seconds of the jury show, she got nervous and was not in pitch. Whatever. So that might, ex that might explain it. Because I can't understand why, for example, Austria is higher than Norway in the jury. Because you can't say it's because it's a throwaway pop song, because so is Austria. And that got 104. Yeah, but Austria got 16. 16 is the new zero. What? <laughs> 16 hey, Austria. points. Yeah, 16 points is the new zero at this Eurovision because so many... I, yeah, obviously there's so many kind of explanations going around. Even if you take it as simple as I'm assuming people that would pick up the phone for that picked up the phone for Finland. And as a result, a lot of people were saying that a lot of countries were thrown under the bus in regards to the public voting for Finland like crazy to try and get it over the line. That's the Australian narrative. One or two of my Australian subscribers are trying to explain Australia's televote that way. The idea that actually people didn't pick up the phone for Australia, they picked up for Finland because they wanted to see it win. I haven't looked too much into that. I've just nodded and agreed. <laughs> but now that you're already to Finland, let's talk about Finland. I mean, we already started like just the highlights of the televoting or whatever. And what about Finland? Because when he got only 12, only two times 12 jury points, I was already pissed. I was so pissed that he, and there were so many countries that he got none. Mm. I was like, how? Why do you have to rate only the singing? Like, rate the whole thing, you know? Not only the singing, but rate all of it. Because his performance, the way it was performed, was amazing. Yes, I agree with that. If I was a jury member, I would have given it points, for sure. Um, I don't, it's, again, like, I, I really don't understand, like, <laughs> everything that's happened. Because Eurovision played out how we all said it was going to. Everyone said that he would struggle in the jury. That was the narrative going into this. And well, suddenly it happens and everyone's like, didn't see that coming. Like, you did see it coming. We were all saying it was going to come. I know, but on the other hand, after I saw that he got so many televoting, so many televoting points, I was hoping like, oh, if he would be in another five countries, 10 points at least, he would be higher even than that. It would be even more competition to Loreen. Hmm. He would have yeah. been if he got a bit more jury points. If he didn't end up sixth or something in the in the jury votes, if he was, I don't know, what was he? He was fourth in the jury. Fourth, okay, uh huh, with one hundred seventy-seven points. One hundred fifty points. What? Are we looking at two different things? <laughs> Am I looking at the 150. right? One hundred fifty. Yeah, one hundred fifty. Sorry. Yeah, that's uh -huh. no, right. <laughs> 
but I was thinking like, why was he not a bit higher? I was really, when I heard the 376 points, I was thinking like, oh my God, everybody believed that he could be the winner actually. Yeah, right? that definitely put him in contention. But when Graham Norton says that um, Sweden only needed, well, only uh, needed 180, that's yeah. when I knew. I was like, oh, it's definitely Sweden then. Yes, I, I thought. Which again, was is what everyone was saying was going to happen anyway. So suddenly it happens and then everyone's really shocked about it. That's very true. Because uh, we already said that Lorin will be winner of juries. Many people for weeks, have... for weeks now. Like, I've been saying whether I want it. Again, I'm not one of those Eurovision fans that passionately want and need certain results. I don't really care. Like, I just love the show. I don't really care who wins. So yeah. every time like, I was like, Lorene's going to win, I didn't say it in regards to being annoyed or really wanting it to happen. I was just facing facts as far as I could see them. So when she won, I cheered because I was like, yeah, that was always going to happen. That was like, that like, was the narrative. Was <laughs> That's the narrative. That was always going to happen. So yeah. whether like I want that to happen or not is irrelevant. And like, the amount of drama that has come out as a result of this is crazy. Like in the sense of so many people like saying, this is unfair. But I've heard so many, like even today, a colleague was saying she's gone into a black hole on the internet saying that it's a conspiracy. The juries have made Sweden win because of ABBA's anniversary. I'm like, oh They're my gosh, that's absolutely crap. That would never happen. And like everyone's saying the system's effed. We've had this system for like 10 or 12 years. Like, I've got used to the system now. Everyone knew Lorene was gonna do well in the jury. So I don't yeah. get it. I just don't get the hysteria. I get people were disappointed. I get people wanted Finland to win. I get that, but that's just Eurovision. That's Move true. on. That's true. What about my love? What about my love? Um, Hungary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, Israel? Yeah, girl, did you very proud? She was second in the juries. I never, never, ever, ever, ever expected that. I mean, again, a jury es has to award what they see. Especially, I don't know if you saw the performance of the jury points of the jury points of the jury show. She My had trousers. Yeah, she had a problem with the trousers and she came back after that. Like, But I know. saw the screen. All that happened and all the jury could see is, you, you know, it, the screen goes black momentarily and yeah. then she goes into it. They just kept it blacker for longer. So you actually didn't see the mishap. Because like, cause obviously her performance, particularly if you're in the, particularly the dance break, you yeah. can't really see it where we were standing. So I looked at the screen and I noticed, I didn't know anything about the trouser mishap until I left the stadium. But I was looking at the screen. I just noticed it was blacker for longer, so no one saw it. Okay, yeah. But it but could, yeah. but it could have shaken her. Definitely, it could have shaken her, and as a result, her. yeah. But yeah, obviously, it didn't. And yeah, she got like 177 jury points and 185, or or the other way around. Yeah, 185 televoting. Yeah, like. I always like regardless of what what you think I always thought it was going to be top five I used to joke with you because obviously you absolutely love the song so I just like to take the mick out of you yeah, but no, I always knew it was going to be top five I knew too I was just, just uh, like uh, very relieved after watching so you many... said it you thought it was going to win <laughs> that I was where thought... I disagreed I no, I didn't say I said that this is my number one and this is the song that I want to win. But as a prediction, I have seen on many videos that I predict Finland to win. Oh, you predicted Finland to win? Yeah, I predicted always that Finland will win. On many videos I said like it's gonna be, but my number one of this season was Israel. No. Oh, is it a surprise to you? <laughs> <laughs> am I the villain? I don't think I'm the villain. <laughs> um, yeah, and she ended up with 362 points, which is big difference to Finland and uh, Sweden. But this is like we have it every year. Third, fourth place is there a bit down, but she's happy to be top 10. And do you know what? Countries take note. That's two years in a row now. Chanel and Israel. Feel free to send a pop song. Just make sure that staging is good and you'll get rewarded. 
Exactly. Don't be that, afraid of pop songs. That really like this. And even Fureira, she was second place there. But I mean, second, third. And also a pop song, complete pop song with a small dance break. And that's it. Yeah. But we w- I would like to see a man having a pop song and a dance break again. Like Eric Zade from Norway. Or was it him from Norway? Eric Zade? Eric Zade, yeah. The, a little bit popular. Oh. Um, uh, 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 we have 10 minutes, so I want to talk about, I mean, Croatia, there's not much to say. We expected that they would get the televoting. I expected it. When I had the 112 points, I was like, okay, we knew that. I was sure. I, it was not a surprise for me. And they did 30. Future Lover. I mean, I don't know if you liked ever the song or not of Armenia. It's my I, second favorite behind France. France is my favorite because that was a big shock for me. Yeah, big time. Yeah. I even in the day we were talking like we knew the front runners and we were just talking about dark horses in the day. And I Armenia was my dark horse. But like, I was like, if Armenia win tonight, I wouldn't be surprised. I was sure that she would do top five. I was so sure. I don't know. And in my head, so so she was sec- she was second for me this year. And Snap last year was my third favorite. My channel's proof of that. And that's two years in a row where they've, in my opinion, underperformed. And I can imagine them going back being like, well, what do we have to do? Because yeah. I think the last two years they've sent good songs. Yes. So if I was Armenian, I'd be a bit confused. So I want to go to, I don't want to do the gesture, but I'll do that. I know where you're going, France. Come on. When I saw when I saw the rehearsals in the press center, I knew straight away I was losing my money. Like I knew I, I knew it wasn't gonna win, but I thought it would still be top five. <laughs> I, honestly, the final performance was not bad. It was I, not bad. Georgie, but you're saying the word not bad. Well, then she deserves the place she got then, because that's the sort of word that you would use for a song that comes in. Yeah, 16. but it was, uh, when I say not bad, at least top 10, not 16th. Because I did like it. When it finished, I was, I had this wow factor in my head still, even though we did have a wow factor from it. I had, but my biggest wow factor was how she reacted to her points. But I mean, she said in an interview, No, I don't know, did you watch it? She said in an interview, she explained it. And she said, like, that was not meant like that. She said, where I come from, because she's from Morocco also. She has, like, where I come from, from my heritage, we do this as a sign or, or as a sign of disappointment, but not the middle finger. This was just my, the body language of showing up disappointment, which I thought, like, girl, come on, you did. Georgie, you were the reason why I knew it happened, because you were the one that did the screenshot. I didn't realise it happened, and I was in the club, and the night, and you did this whole emotional trade, being like, because obviously you were, you were out, okay. okay. No. <laughs> Don't say the whole information. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. But yeah, I was the one that... <laughs> But I will tell you, and the other clip where she's leaving as long as the final points are down. So she says she came back, but someone in the stadium says no. She she said she was coming back from the toilet, and I don't. I'm I'm just gonna trust what she says. And she says that she was yeah coming back from the toilet, but someone said no before the final winner was announced. She did leave and didn't come back. Yeah, but I mean, Lazara is allowed to do that. I don't blame. I mean. That's I'm here hilarious. for I'm here for all of it. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. <laughs> her face when she got it. I'm not gonna do the gesture, but how she did like, and then she did it. And <laughs> it was it was it was the lady next to her, the delegation, when the televote comes through. Yeah. And she vocalizes her disappointment. But I mean, I would want to know how much money went into that package this year. Because they said I the think money. I French know. broad the French broadcasters put money behind the whole thing from the music video from the beginning. This had money written all over it, so they've lost money. This was not a good investment with that result, unfortunately. I agree on that absolutely because they. Did you see that Romania spent three hundred and eighty thousand on theirs? That came out today. Really? 
But that's on everything. So that's on the national final. Yeah, that was everything. And I think, it, it, but I think at least over 100,000 of that is entry to Eurovision. Okay, yeah. Because I read that, everything about the Germany one. Okay. And only to participate to EBU, 470,000. I think Romania's was like 180. No, but this depends. I read all about it and I know how and why. And I know now that what explained is that that's why the Germany is 100% participating every year because NDR, the German channel, is actually not losing money because Germany had eight point something million watching Eurovision. Mm. So eight million is a huge number for this channel to watch it on TV. So, we had 11. Yeah, yeah, but UK and uh, UK and uh, Germany always have the biggest, and you had 11 because you hosted Eurovision. We normally have, no, hold a minute, we normally have about nine or 10. And I always say this when people say you don't take the content seriously. I'm like, we might not do, but ultimately we always tune in. It's like one of the biggest watched things of the year, Eurovision in the UK. But in Germany, it is also, last year we're six or something, this year we're eight. And apparently the channel is making a lot of money from it. And yeah. Eurovision raises the price, EBU raises the price for UK, for Germany, for Spain, because the channels are having huge rate of watching. So EBU raises the money for them because they make the money from the people watching it. And because we don't have much time, we'll have three minutes. I wanted to also tell you, tell me your thoughts about Czechia, my sister's crown. That was my biggest grow of the whole year. When I saw that performance in the semi-final, that song, what was 35 in my top 37, it was low. Um, and then in the final, I was watching it and I said to Paco, I was like, I want this to do well. And it got a position that it deserved. It got a position, in what position? 10th. Just the 35 points, I thought, mm, I, I expected a bit more. But but, as, but the televotes were weird. You either had loads or you didn't. No, oh, true. Italy, fourth Proud. place, great. Fourth place, great, right? I have so much things to say about that. Like, absolutely proud. Him coming out with the rainbow flag. I got really emotional at the end of his song. And then, you as I told him, you, you met I saw him, you I saw him. Apparently on the same plane with him. I mean, what were you thinking of not going on his seat or between his seats? I didn't know he was on the flight until we left. I wouldn't go in between his seat because I have social boundaries. But I only realized when we got off the flight. Anyway, I love that man. Apparently yesterday he was in Milan Apple Store getting his, his laptop fixed. So he is here somewhere. <laughs> here somewhere in a huge city. Go search for him. Uh, but fourth place, great place for him, right? For Italy. The, yeah. Um, Estonia, proud, proud, proud. I couldn't be more proud about her being eighth. Being in the jury so high, just the 22 points on the two less, but I expected it. But she I'm took proud. that like a champion. She took she took that televote like a champion. Or well, let's uh, just quickly before we run out of time talk about people that didn't take it as a champion. Switzerland, he looked like he was going to cry, bless his heart. And I thought Cyprus looked very disappointed as well. Anyway, carry on. Very true about that about Cyprus. I, I but they should be proud of being twelve. Did they expect to win? Yeah. They expected that Cyprus would be a contender to win. Um, but we have less than a minute. And that was the very quick going through the results because people are probably tired of going so many videos on so many results. But that was our quick thoughts, right? See, correct. Do we want to say hi because it will end in about some seconds? Your channel, do you want to say bye to your subscribers and watchers? <laughs> Goodbye, my watchers and my subscribers. <laughs> and that was, was my Italian flag. Our quick, quick thoughts. I'm having more, more than you. That's true. Ciao, your subscribers and viewers. Hold on, yeah. are we coming back on after this to chat? No, are we done? We are. Okay.